Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of you. My name is Nur Aina Safar binti Khaira Anwar. Today, me and my team would like to present to you about our project, Automatic Environmental Control and Monitoring System for Mushroom Cultivation. Before we start, I am going to introduce to you my team member, Nur Amira Sakina binti Saleh. Yugen Raj Anak Lelaki Mohana Raja, Mustafa Hazim bin Muhammad Razif, and Muhammad Fahmim bin Ramli. In the first part, I am going to talk about problem statement. Malaysia is one of the countries in the world with a hot climate. Equatorial climate characteristics also state that temperature is high and even throughout the year. Just a few places in Malaysia have suitable environment for mushroom to grow. The process of taking care of the crops also burdens some, which is divided into three parts. Start with mushroom watering process after planted them. Next, mushroom ear collection process when the mushroom is mature. Lastly, mushroom house cleaning process to make sure the other mushroom did not defect. Most of the part taking a lot of time and energy to finish it. Because of these difficulties, it is not easier for mushroom entrepreneurs to get the crop. Automatic environmental control and monitoring system for mushroom cultivation is a suitable system that could be installed by mushroom entrepreneurs as the features can give a good environment for mushroom in many ways. Next, the objective of this project is firstly to maintain the humidity of the mushroom planted area at a desired temperature by entrepreneurs. Second, to reduce main power consumption during the mushroom care process and lastly to monitor mushroom growing for management prediction on any potential disease next i will pass to amira sakina assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh i am nur amira sakina binti saleh Next, I will continue the presentation on material use. There are many, there are many of, there are many material that we use to complete this project, and this is the list of the material that we use. So the first one is water pump twelve volt DC. Next, we use Arduino Uno set. We also use LCD. 2 times 16 blue white 5 volt operating voltage and not forget we also use 305 meter roll cable jumper wire 0 from 0 0.5 millimeter single copy or copper red for 5 meter 305 meter roll cable jumper wire 0 0.5 millimeter single copy or copper black for also 5 meter. Next, we use LED. Continue the list of material that we use. DHT11 sensor and temperature humidity. Next, buzzer. PCB mounting fit with screw. Single channel 5 volt DC relay breakout board. DC adapter 12 volt 1 ampere. Breakboard 8.5 times 5.5 cm for 400 holes. DC 12 volt fan, plastic board 5 times 5 housing. And lastly is water tank. Next is the input device that we use in this project. Input device is the main that we use to produce the the output 
so uh, the device input that we use is DHT sensor this DHT sensor is to sense temperature and humidity and next is output devices that we use there are three output devices that we use in this project and first is LCD display LCD which is to display temperature and humidity the second output device that we use is water pump 12 volt DC this water pump function to distribute water lastly we use 12 volt DC fan as output device to suck out the hot air from the crops housing that's all and next Yugen Rush will continue this presentation okay for the flow chat it will be uh, start from the it will be the first one will be the start okay the second one will be the input where the input is read temperature of, of, of mushroom house so this temperature reading will be recorded by the DHT sensor okay then the third one is the decision maker okay so the decision is first when the temperature is more than 40 the process will be continue otherwise the process will be end and automatically the process will be go to the end of the processes and the end of the process okay so the fourth one is the output so when the temperature is more than 40 it will be continued to the output where the solenoid waves will be turned on and then the fifth one is uh, process okay so the process is uh, when the solenoid valve is turned on the water flow uh, into the there will be a water flow into the mushroom house okay after that it will be end so this is the project the complete project of our project okay and for the circuit okay this is our circuit okay here we use uh, uh uno arduino okay and then we are using LCD display. So the function of this LCD display is to show us the message. For example, the reading of the temperature, the humidity level, okay, uh, the water level, everything. And then here we use a DHT sensor to detect the temperature and humidity level of the mushroom house. Uh, here we use a motor to pump in the water. Okay, and we are using buzzer. Okay, the function of the buzzer is to give a notification before the water pump is turned on. Okay. So next is design. Uh, the this is our this uh, project design. Okay. So we are taking from two different uh, position. Is first is the front. Okay. This one is our front uh, design, and then this one is our behind behind one. Okay. So that's all, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Fanir Berambi. I'm from BEZ and today we like to discuss about the simulation using Pro software. Okay, uh, this is the example of coding that we use. Uh, in our IDP project, we using uh, the Arduino software to create a coding. Okay, uh, in this coding, uh, we set uh, two different type of condition. For the first condition, we using temperature. Uh, if temperature thirty two and above. A device will be stuck, and if uh, the temperature 31 and above, uh, the motor will be stopped. And for the second condition, we use uh, to control humidity. If humidity 80% below, 
the water pump will be stuck and if uh, the humidity 80% above the water pump will be stopped okay we will try to compile this uh, coding and see what happen okay uh, the coding already done compiling and we do not see any error that mean our coding is suitable for our project and there are no error okay for the circuit uh, we simulate using Proteus software uh, this is uh, in this IDP project uh, we use Arduino Uno as a main circuit and we use LCD after that we use uh, DHT11 to control uh, to display and measure the humidity and temperature and we use a water pump to control the humidity and we use the fan to control the temperature and we also use uh, two LED to indicate the humidity and temperature fine okay we try to upload the head file into our into our main circle and we try to start the simulate From our simulation, uh, we can see the humidity uh, shown 79%. We set the condition for humidity uh, 80% and below. That means if uh, the 79%, the water pump will start operate and the LED will start to light after that uh, for the temperature we use uh, uh, the LCD shown the temperature is 35% and we set the condition for the sensor for temperature is uh, 32 and above if 32 and above the temperature fan will be start operate and the LED will start to light as you can see uh, the temperature show 31 degree Celsius before it show 35 degree Celsius so that means the condition will be on and uh, the picture fan will be stopped and the indicator LED for the picture fan will be stopped too so if uh, the picture will start to rise again the, the picture fan will start to operate again and the LED indicator will start to light again ok that's all for me about the simulation for IDP project Assalamualaikum and good evening ok my name is Mustafa Azim and this is our IDP project which is called a uh, mushroom mushroom box we check the system and as you can see, the humidity is below 80% so that the light LED will turn on and then the buzzer will be sound. The reason the water is stopped now because I haven't opened the... Eh? So, okay, as you can see, the water is being sprinkled to inside the water so that you can close it. You can hear the water and the... is being distributed. Put it in.
Okay, as you can see, the water humidity is 83% and which is, which means the humidity is above the condition. Then the water has stopped, sprinkle, and our LED is turned off. So now we will be indicating on how the temperature will be affected and the response of our uh, project. Now I have put a candle to increase the temperature in the room so we will see in a bit. As for now, the temperature is uh, 29 so we will wait and see. Okay, here we can see the temperature is increasing 30 and then you see it's still gaining 31 Okay, as you can see the temperature is uh, 32 and above the LED is lit on and the fan is turned on This is so that the fan can take uh, iron, you can see the temperature and uh, humidity is below 80% So we sprinkle the water and then at the same time the fan is still turned on okay. Both of the condition is met so that both of the fan and water pump is being turned on right now as we speak. This is the fan to cool down the room. And this is the water being sprinkled inside the room. See? The fan is still on because the temperature is above 32 and the water, water pump is still turned on because the temperature and uh, humidity is 60, 60, 80 and below Okay, now we can see that the temperature is below 32 and the humidity is 80 and above so that both of the LED is turned off and the fan is turned off so is the pump, water pump and the water sprinkler is off so uh, this is all for me hope you enjoyed the demonstration thank you very much